Have you ever heard someone talk about scholars in ivory towers? It's a phrase that academic theologians hear a lot, and there's some truth to the stereotype of a Bible professor hiding away from the world with dusty books and lofty ideas. But we think that if that's how you're doing your theology, you're doing it wrong. And that's not how scholar leaders do things. Scholar Leaders is a fellowship of Christian leaders from around the world. Believers who have PhDs and hearts for the hurting, who are following God's call to apply their intellectual and spiritual gifts in some of the hardest parts of the world. Our ministry cultivates theological leaders from across the planet for lifetimes of impact in the church and on societies. We start by supporting brilliant young global scholars to get the best doctoral formation possible so that they can in turn train the next generation of pastors, evangelists, and missionaries. These scholars not only train new generations of ministers in their contexts, but they mentor dozens of faculty who train thousands of pastors who disciple millions of believers, thus multiplying kingdom impact. As these leaders' ministries and capacities grow, we stick with them, helping them tackle some of the most burning questions of the global church today. For example, we work together with premier Christian thinkers from Africa, the Middle East, and Asia to engage Islam, the world's second largest religion, in order to foster peace and dispel confusion so that the gospel isn't hindered by distortions of the faith, such as the notion that Christians worship three gods. Or, to take another example, when the war broke out in Ukraine in 2022, we dug in right away with our partners at the helms of four seminaries in that country. These scholars and seminary leaders left immediately into the fray of the war, providing extraction and refuge to those trying to survive invasion and artillery strikes. As a result of embracing people amidst their deepest loss, these Christian leaders have gained credibility to share the gospel in powerful ways. They've distributed hundreds of thousands of Bibles and fed and counseled and prayed for innumerable broken hearts. Even during the dark times of war, sometimes from bomb shelters, they have persisted in training hundreds of new pastors and chaplains to replace those that the war has taken or driven away. Ivory Towers? That's not where scholar leaders live, because that's not where Jesus lived, and we're following him.